brief random musing coming up. Um, a thought just came to me. Um, people have a hard time bridging um, divine consciousness. They have a hard time bridging, going from Father God, the big Almighty, to themselves um, and to see themselves as God. See, the word Almighty has a certain meaning and definition in our mind and it equates with inaccessible it equates with separation and it's really difficult to go from the dual mind to the one mind um, what was I going to say ah yeah the dual mind has created a perception of God that somehow if we own the essence, if we own quote-unquote the title of God, that somehow we are in competition with him, you must clearly see the separation consciousness in this, right? Him and you are not the same. Separation mind, separation consciousness. If I own the identity of Source God consciousness, if I own that for me, I am not a competition. And there is certainly not a God that feels threatened by me owning the identity of the Absolute Source God Consciousness. Another obstacle is that we're trying to stuff the infinite into a finite body. Big obstacle. Big obstacle for people. If we identify with the body, right? This small meat suit, this small avatar of earth dust. It's hard for the mind to bridge that. But you are not your body. When you ask yourself, who am I or what am I? What kind of answer are you getting, if any? You're probably not going to get an answer if you really probe that deeply. You get a non-response, meaning you are either everything or nothing. And that is the definition of God. But this is the challenge. To bring the infinite self, that is you, into the finite body, that is also you. It's a big obstacle for the mind. But uh, ultimately, in oneness, when your awareness has changed from two, duality to one, singularity, the center of the universe becomes you, right here, right now. And this is what create what this is what heals creation to make home in your being in your physical being as we bring the source consciousness awareness home into our bodies our bodies are going to respond to that and become transformed and healed so, yes, it's a little bit of a homework to try and assimilate 
the truth of oneness, but you are the absolute source God, the infinite essence, the infinite consciousness. The job is to bring that into the finite body without exploding the body. So it's, happen, it's going to happen gradually. But home is where you are. When people always say they want to go home, that is um, because they still feel alienated from their self. They're still not comfortable with accepting the fact that yourself is home. Yourself is the home of God, the home that you long to go to, but that home is inside of you. And when you can finally accept that, you can bring everything into yourself, you are going to transform your being. And it's going to show up in your physical being. You are it. You are it if you want to be. There is no God outside of you that will begrudge you or feel jealous or envious that you try to own his title. <laughs> oh yeah, I know I know what I wanted to say. It's God is like a mother, you know, and she has a bunch of children. They always say a mother doesn't divide her love up between her children. She multiplies the love. And God, in the same sense, multi multiplies his love and his essence. He does not feel jealous. He does not feel slighted if we take upon ourselves the essence and identity of the infinite self. In fact, it would honor God. You can only become like God if you own the identity. It's a, it's a funny psychological thing. But before you can become something, before you can manifest as something, you have to say, I am that. So, to use a biblical phrase, if we want to become godly, we have to be God at the source, right? The apple tree cannot become a banana tree. It only produces apples because it knows it's an apple tree. And you can produce godliness only when you know that you are God. <laughs>